Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising monthly tarot reading for a September 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we're going to jump uh, right into it. Right, so I think that's good enough and uh, let's see what we what we're dealing with here so the first card which represents the topic of uh, your month the very theme here is going to be the strength card followed by the next one which represents the peripheral activities that you can go for three of ones is what we do have afterwards it is the challenge that uh, you need to overcome throughout the month that is going to be the uh, hermit for what it seems Furthermore, we do have the positive aspect for you guys. That is going to be the Ace of Wands. And the final one, uh, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. And we do have the uh, Queen of uh, Wands. Wow, all right. So uh, it looks like that it is your time, all right, throughout the month of August. Uh, September, excuse me. I don't know why I do say August always. It's September. So uh, your time in the sense of that you can do something very, very substantial for yourself, actually move on into a, a substantial direction for your life, you know, for your career and for your relationship. Now, the problem, however, is going to be that not everybody is going to be agreed with you. All right. That, that is the whole issue that we do have throughout the month. Uh, for example, you may decide to um, start a new job and your family is not it is not um it is not supportive for it because you have to change states right they don't want to see you going somewhere on a different place uh that is just for an example but before we scrutinize the reading and um how do i say it let's see how this thing plays out here let's run the cards one more time so the first one which is the topic that is going to be the strength followed by the next one which stands for the peripheral activities we do have the three of wands afterwards it is the challenge that you need to overcome here that is going to be the hermit followed by the next one which is the positive aspect of the month for you guys we do have a winner of the ace of wands and the last one it is the guidance that tarot is offering to you that will be the queen of wands all right so the strength card well strength is very abstract card it does point uh, for a few things now the first one is that you need to persevere through your patience meaning that you shouldn't be impulsive you shouldn't be aggressive but in the same time you should not be also milder you need to find that soft spot there where you um does not allow anybody or anything to take advantage of you and in the same time you are not quick into temper another thing with the strength card is that this month you can really cash in into your charisma all right um <clears throat> approaching people approaching situation also you can really exert your influence going through uh doing it uh, excuse me through, doing it through your charisma and the strength also urges you that 
the month itself is gonna matter what you do and not what you say. So instead of trying to convince everybody, you know, into your righteousness or into the benefits of what so of what you're gonna of the benefits that you're gonna have from your endeavors, just allow your actions instead to speak for themselves. The accompanied card here is going to be the devil. The formation it is a active neutrals that we do have. So there is uh, there is nothing coincidental into uh, into all this. Here with this neutral combination, it does look like that you can be very subtle into working with the assets you do have in the month of September, either into your career or either into your relationship, while simultaneously not allowing your weaknesses to be exposed. Very important here. And by not allowing your weaknesses to be exposed, people uh, and situations as well you know in regard regard um, <clears throat> not regardless but depends on what you're dealing with here we will not be able to put you off guard or rather like to take advantage of you or to surprise you in any unpleasant way and with these two cards also you will be firm into a uh, resisting um, temptations okay it's it's like someone is shooting you with an offer that looks way too good to be true usually the very first response is that you get um you grasp it and then afterwards understand that it costs you more than you know well you are not going to be such kind of a person it is because you are to find the soft spot here not being quick into action but rather calculative into it so the peripheral activities that you can go for here Aquarius that is the tree of wands so it does look like that everything else rather almost everything uh, into your life is rather taking um, this stable uh, stable ground okay and while you can be proud of your achievements of in the peripheral things the small things in life you know in the same time you can step on those achievements step on those um, established patterns I would say and challenge challenge yourself to improve your life in any way you can that does not um, in any way you can that it is not interfering you know with that substantial uh, endeavor here or that substantial situation that the month or a team topic that the month is taking uh, is taking under this card could represent you know your um, better uh, your your improvements of excuse me of a uh, social skill where you are expanding your social circle right it could represent as well uh, obtaining new hobby uh, that makes you feel better or uh, learning new skill i know these kind of stuff that simply are going to improve your quality of life the accompanied card that is going to be the uh, six of cups and uh, the formation here it is a active enemies that we do have so this uh, this combo makes me think of that the hardest parts are leading toward the, the most beautiful places so it doesn't have to be easy guys it doesn't have to be pleasant you know the improvement as a matter of fact is going to be challenging that's why we do have the six of cups you need to place yourself a bit into a uncomfortable zone in in regards to those you know trifles that are yet necessary for you to improve your uh, quality of life like <clears throat> expanding your social circle means that you gotta go out in a different environment that may be a bit you know awkward for you you may not feel like you are in your own waters but in the same time it's necessary to expand your social circle new hobby requires new learning new skills require practice that you know at the start may be a bit annoying and aggravating but in the same time it will improve your quality of life so the challenges here is going to be the hermit that relates to the main topic the main uh, the, uh, the the uh, the the main team which is about you uh, allowing your actions to speak for themselves being patient with our big endeavor into your life and uh, no, not allowing people to stray your opinion uh, sideways just because they are tem it is tempting for you to do so. So the hermit here points that uh, you need to approach the whole thing. You know, you know, if, in case this um, developing to your. Um, into your marriage or into your relationship or into your career it doesn't really matter but uh, you need to approach it with a rather more intelligent and, and wise manner in the same time you need to focus on what is substantial for your well-being anything else 
it does not matter at all. That's why everything else here that comes up is in a conditional card. The peripheral activities are activities that you can go for or you may not go for. In this case, only if you do have the time, then you can go for that because you do have a great deal to focus here because what, what is in stake it's a new direction into your life that you are most likely to identify for yourself. A direction that when you start walking into, there will be very few people to upload and for, uh, to upload you for. And for that reason, you know, you need to be uh, very synchronized with that direction in a sense of that you shouldn't have any doubts or a shred of doubt, excuse me, that you do want that thing. And... Uh, like I said, it will be accompanied with some detachments, you know, some people were going to leave your life for it. So other people were going to enter into your life for it. But the thing is that you should not try once again to explain why you are doing it. Simply do it. And along the way, people will see the reason why. The accompanied card, it is the Four of Cups and the formation, it is a, a passive friends, it's about the breakthrough, you need to recognize that should you not do what it takes to change your life, nothing else will, that is the whole point of these uh, two cards, your, um, your way out, or kind of like uh, the, uh, the substantial event, the substantial means, which will allow you to change your life, or to put a new direction into your life, are there, into the month of September, it is just you need to have the mental awareness to see it, all right? Emotional um, indulgement here is not advisable at all. Mental awareness and uh, self-determination instead of, once again, I cannot stress you enough explaining yourself instead of doing so, but just to allow your actions to speak for themselves, it is required so you can be, um, how do you say it in English, convincing enough that nothing and no one can deprive you from that path which is opening for you. And the path it is. We do have the Ace of Wands, which is the positive aspect of the month, on a positive end here. There will be a lot of gaining for enterprises from you to choose from, all right? Enterprises which will allow you to develop new skills, which we saw into the Tree of Wands, all right? To um, <clears throat> acquire new benefits, to rule over the chaos. The Ace of Wands is like a, uh, that surprise everybody is waiting for, right? That surprise that makes difference into one's life, that allows one to change one's life toward more exciting, more exhilarating, and more, more beneficial uh, heights. The accompanied card of the Ace of Wands is going to be the Seven of Cups and the formation. It is a active enemies. It's about cutting off the bullshits. This is what, what is happening here, these new gaining for enterprises. They are real, guys. They're not something that it is meant to um it is meant to disappoint you, okay? Uh, they are real and it is highly advisable for you to kind of like make peace with it in a sense of that uh, acknowledge that they are real and move forward with it. Now, these enterprises are different from the temptation. The enterprises come around with circumstances. The temptations that you are to resist are coming from people, okay? People that are trying to uh, exert their influence upon you so you don't take on this new direction into your life. And the last card, it is about the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. Uh, Queen of Wands, first thing I want to say, have fun. The Queen of Wands, it is the master of enjoying life. And you got to do it throughout this month. You want to go out and partying with people? Go out and partying with people. You want to spend time with specific individual? Go out and spend time with specific, with specific individual. Just do whatever makes you enjoy life as much as you can. Additionally to that, the Queen of Wands points that you are going to develop. It's not even develop, but more like a... Uh, making a particular set of skills or knowledge shine and amaze people. You attract many people around you through your charisma, through your presence as well. Fantastic months where you can start new relationships with, these, uh, with this card. It is just the only thing that can really obstruct you of doing so if, is if you neglect your physical appearance. This time, it is all about physical appearance. When you go out on a date or when you go out to socialize, make sure that you have your makeup on, that you are with the most beautiful dress you do possess and there is no way that you ain't going to attract people around 
The accompanied card is going to be the Three of Swords. The formation it is a active, um, <clears throat> active friends, and uh, the past failures and the past misfortune here is going to feed up your determination to. Uh, to basically traverse, you know, your future into something positive, okay? Uh, th this is a, a very typical combination, the Queen of Wands and the Three of Swords, where you just refuse to be miserable, all right? You refuse to succumb to previous disappointment of previous relationships or previous jobs, and instead you stray toward the future, proving everybody else that it is around you that lack clamor into your capabilities that they couldn't be more wrong. So that being said, Aquarius, this was your monthly tarot reading for September 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.